No, so uh, yeah, so everything is perfect. I mean, it don't even look like you had surgery. That's what's the crazy part. It does not. Everything is yeah. So everything is good. So we have two weeks before we come back. I'll speak. We have two weeks before we come back. She's a little high, but at the same time, she's not really, but she is a little bit. Well, we come back in two weeks, only to take off the no. Only to check the or take the stitches out. We come back in two weeks to take the stitches out. We'll go to the same place. He said. They said that the ankle looked perfect. She's able to walk now, but only by using the boot. He said that he wouldn't try it. Don't um, don't start driving for at least a week or two, depending upon what she wants to do, what she's comfortable with doing. They said when we when she stands up. And when she walk, walk flat footed. Don't put too much, you know how you walk on your heel, boom, your heel. Don't do it flat foot. Do it flat foot to ease your way, to work it back up, to strengthen all that back up. They said also to wear a flat like sneaker to balance yourself out. But other than that, everything's perfect. We only have one set of um, prescription to get Norco. They said tomorrow will be the worst feeling of pain. There's no pain now because it's still a little bit numb. But um, that's pretty much it. Um, how much longer you want to sit here? It is up to you. Okay. We need to get a wheelchair because you're not doing crutches. Or sh yeah, so about 20 minutes. We'll sit here 20 minutes before we, before we leave. I'm going to go get her mom. I'm going to go get her because I don't know where she is. I'm gonna go get her mom now, but we're all set. So we'll just close it out on the next video. We'll close it out on the next caption. We'll close it out. All right, guys, and we're all done. Surgery was a success as we knew it would be. Just waiting for the nurse to bring her outside now. And uh, she'll be in the car and we're gonna make one stop pick up an item for me and then we're off to the house to relax, order some food and relax. So we'll let her do a few words when she get in the car and we'll close it out. All right, it's all done, so now what? You starting over? No, I'm not over there. Well? Uh, I'm feeling great right now part to the medication however it's not hurting like I expected it or anticipated it to be no wonder because you didn't expect or anticipate anything you didn't know right um probably straight um no yeah straight you gotta go out with a little oh yeah this is that sad year well yeah so it feels great right now because I thought I'd be in excruciating pain. Did you have Actually, eaten since when? Since last night I'm starving. So that's beautiful. We're going, are we going to order some what you call Babe, that? actually we got um, the Cedar Grill right here. What's that? It's a Mediterranean. I think that may have played a little bit. Oh, that's good. Cool. No, we could just stop and get some, but I got to make a stop in Detroit. We're going further than here? We're going like 14 miles. Okay, good. And then on the way back, I if they had it then. I can just go get it. 14 miles of what? Right back over the mall. Okay. Why? Wow. No, I'm just saying we can get it or we can get it. No, we over there. We never get it. We got those. Alright, picked up my wheels. As you can see, kind of switching the audiences a little bit, kind of mixing and matching. So anyway, so we picked up the wheels. Mm -hmm. Did you just said it's in your head? I didn't say that. We picked up the wheels, as you can see, and 
um, now we're about to order DoorDash so that the food can be there sometime after we get home. But before we do that, I need to get gas. So, um, like I said, we're going to head to the house. We're going to close the video out once we get there. Thanks, everybody, for your prayers and wishes for a successful surgery. I really appreciate it. She says she's going to um, launch her own vlog so that she can take the blood again. Just give a background on my injury, how it happened, and as I progress um, through these stages of healing. For anybody who's been through it or wants to know, to go yeah, through, or, or even if they're going through it right now, it's probably yeah. the reason why so much interest. I would imagine that people just don't want to look at somebody's injury. I don't. That's what you said. Yeah, I'm just saying. Like, yeah, no, there like, could be some people out there that just they really just like to see injuries. I guess maybe it's I don't know. Nurse. Anyway, um, so we will touch base once we get home. We're just getting through this rush hour traffic right now, and um, we got to get gas. Otherwise, we won't be able to get home. So. All right, so we'll touch base once we get there. So as you see, we have the wheels. We have the wide body kit. There's two of them. Here's two of them. This wheel right here, along with the other one, which is at the shop, and the two replacement, we're gonna take and we're gonna sell. If anybody wants those wheels, let us know. Uh, wheels and tires, nice wheels, but for the wide body kit that I'm going for, I cannot use these. I cannot use it, unfortunately. So it looks like I cannot use those and I cannot use those for the wide body kit. So I have two sets of wheels and tires that are gonna be for sale. Um, if I did not widen the rears, which I did to 12 inches, I will put, I would see what they look like on here. But at the same time, I wanna keep that stock real clean, crisp stock, original look to this car, even though it's not original. You see that cat is sneak peeking around that sign right there. That's the Hellcat, he's sneaking. And that's funny to show that because that's exactly what I wanted to build in this car. Hence the name, The Unusual Suspect. I named him The Unusual Suspect because I wanted to look like a stock car all the way stock. You know how many times I approach people in this car and they think that it's a stock car. A lot of people tell me, that's not a Hellcat, there's no Hellcat in there. This guy just has it badged with the Hellcat logo. Like I would actually, like I would actually do that. I'm no Fugazi. You get what you get with me. You're gonna get real and only real. If you gotta go fake, why do it at all? Anyway, that's how, I, that's how I look at it. But this car here, I wanted to keep all original look to where you would think it's an original car. The Corvette was an over the top car. This side of trophies, you're gonna retire her soon because that was for the Corvette. The Cuda hasn't gone out as much, but I still have about, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Eight trophies plus the one we threw away is nine. Plus another one right here we got is 10. We never put it up. So we got 10, but we didn't go out. We had the, we had the Corvette out a year and a half. We had the Cuda out at the end of this year only. We didn't go to a lot of shows with it, but the Cuda won the best of the best. It won at the Autorama. So anyway, that's it. So these these wheels, in addition to the other four that's at the shop, has to go. We're going to run with these wheels here. And I got to get the door for DoorDash. Got it. Our food delivery is here now, so let's get this. I'll be back home. I'm about to end this video finally so I can eat and relax. So... She got back to normal when she came in here, but the wheelchair is not around. It's over here, so she didn't use that because they don't want her to use that. So, all right, so we just about to 
eat and watch TV. All right, so please like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And we'll see y'all in the next video.